Hi everybody, welcome back to the Claremont Classic Garage. Today I'm going to show you a little tip how you can use tires for a iRobot Roomba to replace the tires on your Shark Robot Vacuum as they are not available as a separate part. So this is some kind of oddball Torx, but I, I've got a, a micro screwdriver, a straight one, that seems to catch it across the points there, so we should be okay. So we're going to um, pull this out, and we should be able to get our, our motor assembly out, and then be able to change the tire. We're going to work on this side first, because we've got a stubborn screw over here i got to deal with. So, um, here we are. We've got the motor assembly out. You have to unplug it. We did that. Now we're going to undo this spring, and it should flip back up in. There we go. Now we can get at this tire. Well, maybe we'll take it right out. I think we just um, push out a little pin and the motor should come right out. So here's our new tire. It's made out of silicone. Um, our old tire, you can see, there's nothing left of it. Now, I'm pretty sure these tires are the correct ones. I cannot buy the exact tires for this here Shark. These are for a Roomba, an iRobot Roomba. But we're going to try and pop it onto the wheel and see what happens. So we have to go around and cut these little teeth off. And then the tire um, hopefully will go on. If it doesn't, well, we'll come up with another plan. We're getting there. Well, there we are. It's on. It looks like it should work. So we'll assemble this uh, bogey or motor assembly, whatever you want to call it, back into the machine and see how it all fits back together. Now we'll carry on with this side. Uh, you can see the difference here. There's what's left of the original tire versus the new tire. That's the difference in height. And that's why this guy was just, he was grounding out and, and he just didn't have any grip. He couldn't go anywhere. Okay. Let's see if he has a better time now. Guys, leave Bob alone. Bob, that's not Bob. Bob's upstairs. This one's Stuart. That's his name, Stuart. If these two will leave it alone. But you can tell now, he works perfectly. He makes his turns. That's good. So there you have it. You can use Roomba parts to fix a shark vacuum. Haha. <laughs> Just like what we do on the cars. Use a part from this one to fix that one, eh? Beautiful. Well, we'll let that run down here for a little while and see what it picks up. So you can see the difference between the shark and the Roomba. How the, the shark... The, the tire is literally molded right over the wheel. And we had to we had to knock all those tabs off to get the Roomba tires on. But there it is, driving around with Roomba tires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run for a while. And then I will um, flip it back over and inspect it to make sure that the tires are actually staying on the wheels. I think they should. They they, they seem they, they went on quite tight, and there there is a lot of I left a lot of jagged, uh, you know, nibs from when I cut those uh, retaining teeth off. So theoretically, it should the tires should stay on, and, and they went on pretty tight. So only time will tell. He's under the workbench now. While we're waiting on the vacuum to do its rounds. We're going to um, check our humidifier. So, right now, it's not on. So what we'll do is we'll crank this, the humidistat up, and we'll hear it go click. And then we'll watch to, that there's water flowing through it. And then we'll make sure that it goes and drains. You can see here it drains. 
down into our little our little pony pump there and then that pumps in turn over to the laundry tub so let's turn this thing up should hear it go click there it goes so it's on sorry nugget little guy stepped on his foot you okay he's okay all right so we got that cranked up okay so you can see there there's water flowing through it through the core and we've got it switched into winter mode all this is you can see in there it's a damper a bypass valve right so you put it on summer and the air doesn't go through it so we got it to winter here so we'll let that run for a while and eventually if the furnace runs long enough you'll hear this little pump start up and it'll uh, evacuate itself into the laundry tub hi guys hello how's my little freeze you okay nugget your foot's okay that's ah, a good boy Yeah, good, let me close this up. And there you can see, the pump just did its thing, and it's all good. So good, everything over there is working. Excellent. So this thing's been running around here for about 15 minutes now. Let's see what it picked up. Not bad. So we'll get this thing emptied out, and then we'll flip it over and check the tires. Yeah, it looks good. So now that we know that this thing is a good operational unit, the last thing we're going to do is I've got some spare brushes. So we're going to take the used brushes off the one upstairs to put on this one, and we'll put brand new ones on the one upstairs. Okay, so here we are. Bob meets Stuart. Stuart meets Bob. Um, you can see here Bob is going to be needing a new set of tires soon too, I think. Wow. There are a few... Oh my lord. What are you two doing? Mm, just being puppies. There are slight differences between the two. Um, this one is a little bit newer than this one. Even though as far as I know, they're both the same RV720. RV720. They're both the same model. But this one does have some subtle differences. You can see here it's got little, little fenders on the motors that this one doesn't have. Um, don't ask me what all is different about it, but anyway, so what we're going to do is swap these brushes over onto this one and put new brushes on this one. Go find them. Why would anybody get just one puppy? What the hell fun is that? Two is way more fun. <laughs> and there they go. Maybe they'll stay up there for a while. All right. So. That's this guy fixed up, and that's this guy fixed up. We'll put them both together. I'm going to let them both loose and let them run for a cycle and see what happens. So there you have it. Bob and Stuart are happily going about their business. I like these things. I got to keep looking for more now. I want one more for the second floor of the house, and I want one for my garage. So long, you know, you can't you can't let the thing loose to, to pick up 10 pounds of speedy dry. But just when you're doing clean stuff, just to let it putt around and pick up the dust, I can't believe what these things pick up. Anyway, I guess that'll do that for this one. It was a successful mission. Um, the tires I bought for the one downstairs, they actually came two sets of tires for one money. So I've got another spare pair in the, in the drawer over there. So when the tires on that one get a little bit worse, well, when he stops driving, when it starts struggling like the one downstairs was, we'll throw a set of tires on it. Anyway, um, I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for supporting our channel. I want to thank you in advance for please, down below, hitting the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And until we meet again, this is Kevin checking out from the Claremont Classic Garage. So long for now.